Alright, I'm gonna hop over the rail here so we don't fall over to the other side. And I'm dead! Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back on Roblox Titanic, and we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the updates to the game. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are on board Roblox Titanic. Now, a lot of you have been asking about interior updates. When are they coming? But here's the thing. Interior updates aren't going to be here for a while, and the reason is, is that this ship model is not going to be getting any interior updates. It has been updated as far as it can be with the interior, and now we're getting updates that are a little smaller, like these telegraphs here. I will show you with an example. So we just go ahead and move it to the next position, so half ahead, and there we go. So let's do it for the other one here. Oh, okay. There you go. So, um, yeah, so basically that is what's happening with Roblox Titanic. Roblox Britannic, however, is going to be getting a lot of interior updates in the future. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and check out some of these updates here. So let's go ahead and get our GUI back. Now, as you can see, we have this life jacket here. Now, we also have the regular life jacket. But this life jacket here can be used to bring down to the uh, crew areas on E-Deck and actually deliver these life jackets. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So let's go down. Now I'm actually going to go down through the uh, crew space and the um, third class open space. And as you can see the iceberg is right there. So let's go ahead and stand in the forecastle and wait for this iceberg to hit. It looks like we might just miss it, but nope. We have collided with the iceberg. You can see some people have jumped onto the iceberg. And there it goes. Alright, let's go on and head below. So making our way down, we're actually going to head to Scotland Road here on E deck. We're going to go ahead and bring out our life jacket thing here. Now if we go up to some of the doors, see you can see that these guys need little life jackets here. So just two there. Now we have ten life jackets left. Let's go one, two, three. Six life jackets left. Three life jackets left, so we'll have one after this. And see, we're out of life jackets. Now we do get points for that, but what we have to do is we have to go all the way back up to the bridge, get the life jackets, and then come all the way down here. Now, you can only be crew or captain to do this, so um, I do recommend getting the game passes. Now, I have talked to Maze Man, and he's hoping to implement some more features like that like these little missions also we are aware of this bug here it will be fixed shortly all right we are back in the crew area let's go ahead grab some life jackets head below and start filling up those cabins and we've also got to actually start handing out life jackets because um we uh we need to save some people as well too all right so now that we have our life jackets why don't we go ahead and take the elevator down that might be fun all right elevator so we got one right here let's go ahead take this elevator down it might be a bit slow but who cares it's an elevator on board a ship uh, which is not very common for vessels of this age other than the Lusitania in the Mauritania all right we are on I believe this is B deck I could be wrong no this is C deck here and this is gonna be D deck we're gonna happen upon D deck here all right let's go ahead and get out on D deck there we are all right now back down to E deck. Let's get our life jacket out here. Let's start handing out these life jackets. I know we missed one up here. Yep, there we go. We got that. So let's go ahead and fill these up here. There we go. One more there. Two here. And we can hear the steam being vented from the uh, funnels. There we go. And we're out of life jackets already. We are really running out of life jackets quick down here. So. Uh, we gotta make sure we get back up to the main deck very quickly. Alright, looks like someone has opened the door over here. It's actually historically accurate that this door was opened. Um, strangely, we are moving in reverse, which is actually a feature of the new update. You can actually make the ship go backwards. Uh, you can't stop it from hitting the iceberg, however. Uh, there are a few bugs that do need to be worked out, and uh, Amazeman is doing his best with that. Um, so let's go ahead and go back up to the bridge. 
All right, we got our life jackets. Let's go ahead and head down to E deck again. Start stocking up. All right, let's go ahead and stock these up here. We got one more life jacket left. All right, that's strange. I don't see any um, markings on these doors here for life jackets. Oh, there we go. Perfect. We have one more life jacket and we can give it to this room right here. Beautiful. So we've stocked up everything from the beginning of Scotland Road all the way to the after end of Scotland Road where it ends off at that wall. We still need to stock up the rest of those cabins, but uh, I think one more batch of life jackets will do that for us. Uh-oh. And it looks like F-Deck is positively underwater. Um, well, it's actually negatively underwater because it's technically below sea level at this point, but whatever. Alright, we are now back up on A deck and boat deck down this hallway once again. Perfect. I think... Do we have to click on them? No, we just walk into this room and we get the life jackets. Perfect. Well, if you look closely, you can see that Scotland Road is actually going underwater there, so we gotta be quick about this. We got 15 life jackets, and we're not gonna be able to use the E-Deck stairs anymore. Uh, because those are going to be underwater by the time we get back. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use the second class stairs, which are further aft. Uh, but we need to get rid of these life jackets here. All right, looks like three here. So we'll have three left, and then we'll give two here. And, oh, no, we're out. Okay, cool. So um, let's go ahead and head aft, and we've got to get up that staircase because I know that by the time we go forward it's going to be completely flooded so let's go now the problem with this is is that it's actually going to take longer to get up all the way to the bridge because now we're at the back of the ship so we have to go all the way forward all right we're climbing up the stairs here we're on a deck and here is boat deck we have made it wonderful all right so let's get in there with our life jackets let's go ahead there we go we've got our life jackets now let's quickly make our way down the grand staircase because I do want to see where the water level is. I am imagining that we're not going to actually be able to get down there. Um, I'm actually trying to do this pretty realistically. I'm uh, trying to avoid the water at all costs because we don't want to step into freezing water, do we? So let's go ahead, get down the stairs here, and let's see where the water level is. I'm imagining it's not going to be good. Oh yeah, no way. It's totally out of reach for us. I mean, technically, we could go waste into the water, but not planning on doing that. Um, so let's go ahead and head up the stairs, and let's go aft to the second-class staircase and make our way down. I can tell you that I really enjoy the whole life belt uh, delivery thing that Maze has added. I mean, it adds a whole new thing to the game that it didn't have before, and it's, uh, it's almost a mission style thing, and I like that because now you have some sense of urgency, and uh, it's pretty cool. All right, so we're almost down to E deck. We are on D deck. All right, so literally right here. Yep, all right, perfect. Now, let's go ahead and head forward. All right, that is uh, not good. Um, you can see the water's completely flooded up to the next deck there. So we need to quickly get this stuff filled out here. And I don't think we're actually going to be able to deliver all the life jackets, but I'm going to try my best. Um, if it means I have to die, then, then so be it. And the funny part is, is probably no one would be down there at this point because there's water in the hallway and it's flooding up. I mean, we saw one person. There, there they go. They're just running back there. Um, and we're out of life jackets. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get back upstairs and get some more life belts to deliver. I am a little worried by the time that we are almost finished with this is when the bridge is going to go under. So, um, that might be a bit frustrating and scary at the same time. All right. So I'm making my way back up to boat deck here and we're actually here right now. And uh, the one thing that I am worried about is by the time we are finished delivering these life jackets, the entire bridge is going to be underwater because we are really listing a lot now. We're actually sinking in the 1997 movie style sinking, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it makes things a little more dramatic than the actual uh, 1912 version of the modern sinking that Amaze has in game. And um, yeah, things start to get tilted pretty quickly so um yeah 
Alright, so I made it to the bridge, and as you can see, the water is starting to flood the forecastle and also the well deck. So, um, not good for us, but hopefully this last batch will be enough. Um, if not, I'm kind of screwed. So, uh, yeah, you can hear the ship starting to creak under the weight of the forward water, lifting the stern out. So, um, yeah, if we look down the stairs here, you can see yeah, it's just water on D-deck. So, let's go ahead and head aft. Alright, we are back in the second class staircase and we're making our way down to E-Deck and we see that same person that we saw on E-Deck down here, so I don't know what they were doing, but um, I guess they were trying to look for an exit. We're actually heading towards danger here, I would say. So we're on D-Deck now and here is our destination, E-Deck. So we got all the life jackets up to here, got all of them done, so we can just go ahead, get that, that, two more here, one more here, one there, oh yeah, we're gonna need another batch of life jackets soon. I don't know whether to save myself or not, but I think today is not going to be a good day for myself and Roblox, because, um... I am really committed to getting all these life jackets delivered, um, no matter what it takes. So, I think today I'm not going to be saving myself. I'm going to be going down with the ship. But, yet again, when do I ever save myself from a sinking ship? I usually go down with the ship, no matter if it's Stormworks. Well, actually, on Stormworks, I usually jump off. But, uh, in Roblox, <laughs> I'm usually the one that dies. So, Let's go ahead and get back to the bridge. And every time I come up here, the angle of the ship just gets worse and worse. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get to the bridge as fast as we can. All right, looking at the bow, it is definitely underwater, as you can see. Uh, the well deck's completely flooded, and the last bit of the forecastle is going under. So let's quickly get our um, life jackets here. So we just walk up to them, and we've already got them, as you can see there. Looking over the banister again, you can see that the water is quickly flooding the lower decks here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, get to that uh, second class staircase once again. You know, it's just a back and forth deal here, so uh, not too much to do. Back in the second class staircase, let's go ahead and get downstairs, deliver the last of these life jackets, and try to survive because that is our main goal I would say once we get these life jackets out of the way oh my goodness we only need two more life jackets boy oh boy okay um this is a race against time now all right back on to boat deck and as you can see the angle of the ship is just continuing to worsen and this guy is attempting to lower a boat but failing miserably good luck to you sir I hope to see you alive sometime in the future maybe on that lifeboat maybe not who knows all right i have made it to the bridge and as you can see the water is right there it is actually entering the bridge and will be entering the wheelhouse in any moment so this is our last trip and we are leaving the wheelhouse as it gets consumed by water so let's make our way aft as quickly as possible uh we got a lifeboat there that is uh, slowly getting away from the ship but um I don't know how much time I have left. My one fear is becoming trapped in the ship, but I don't really think that's going to happen right now um, because we're kind of not completely tilted over to the point where we'll fall over. All right, so um, I've gotten all the life jackets there. I just want to make sure that I've got every door and every room filled with life jackets. I don't even know why I'm doing this still because there is literally no one down here. Okay, there we go. That's done. As you can see, there's the water. Um, yep, so that's pretty much it. Let's uh, let's make a run for it. Ooh, and the first funnel has just collapsed. You know, I did see two boats that are still hanging by the davits, so I think maybe we can attempt to lower those. Um, if not, again, let's just run for it. And here we are. Oh, look at this. Somebody's already launching one. Perfect. Well... They've made it to safety. That's wonderful. Let's see if the other side has been launched. No, it has not. So let's quickly get those lifeboats down. All right, I've almost got this boat down now. 
literally just a few feet, maybe 50 feet off the ground there. Let's go ahead and launch this boat here. Um, oh yeah, we're definitely not going to have enough time to get this boat down before this entire ship goes. So um, let's try to do the best we can. Uh-oh, the uh, second funnel has collapsed and the power has died. But I am still committed to getting this boat down. I think we can just get down the last second here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Well, I think it's the end now. Um, I would run if I were you. Oh, boy. Yep, there's the crack. The ship is splitting in two. And it is over. Actually, I think that's the same person that we saw in Scotland Road. And also saw in the staircase. It's funny how you uh, can see people in the game and then re-see them in their final moments. And uh, also, I believe I just saw that person fall to their death as well. So, um, nice knowing that person. But uh, here we go. We need to start moving. Alright, up the stairs we go. We got a few people sitting down. They really just accepted their fate. And um, there's some people over here. We see the iceberg that doomed the ship in the first place. Uh, but let's, let's just chill out over here for a little bit and... Hope that we make it out of this. I mean, I myself have a life jacket, so I'm hopeful that I can swim to a boat in time. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to hop over the rail here so we don't fall over to the other side. And I'm dead. That is dead. Absolutely. Yep. The stern is coming out of the water. I just completely fell to my death there. All right. Let's go ahead and swim for a lifeboat. Looks like I'm not going to be going down with the ship. I'm just going to go ahead and swim to a lifeboat here. Looks like the ship is jittering around a little bit. There it goes. As you can see, it is just climbing into the air, going 90 degrees. You can see people struggling to get up and out of the way of those cargo hatches there. All right, so we've made it to a lifeboat here. You can see the ship is now gone pretty much vertical at this state. So let's go ahead, jump into the lifeboat. Awesome. Yes, right there. And as you can see, the air is escaping the stern of the ship. We have survived. It uh, looks like this person wants to get in our lifeboat. I do not mind. Actually, I do when you are in the hull of the ship. The last little bit of the ship slowly sinking under. And we have the convoy of lifeboats heading to rescue the people that were left on board. And we have survived. And here's the list of the saved if you want to read that. But yeah... Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time guys. Goodbye!